So we have the pages here. Navigation, it's very much similar to uh, the other Adobe programs. You can go ahead and use these scroll bars to go up and down. You can use the you can use the uh, shift key to, or I'm sorry, the shift key with the scroll wheel to, to scroll up and down. If you do the control, you'll go side to side. If you boot, do the alt key and then the scroll wheel, you'll go zoom in and out, okay? Or you can hit the control button and then the plus or minus key, whoops, uh, alt, what the hell was that? There it is. The control key with the plus or minus um, key to zoom in and out as well. You can open up your uh, navigator as well. Where is it? Navigator, navigator, navigator. Wait, did this have a navigator? I don't see it. Oh well. Okay, so there we have your cover page. We have uh, basically a layout of the pages that looks like it's it's um, set side by side. The units are in, in points that something that uh, it's 72 so it is points. Well if you want to change all that setting you can go to uh, edit preference and then units and increments. There are other stuff here but if you go to units and increments it'll take you right to that uh, that dialog box with the units and increments. For the ruler units, if you set this up to inches so that we know, or we can kind of figure out what that is, horizontal and vertical. The other units, the point size, uh, text size, we could keep it at points. That seems perfectly fine because we'll we'll see this thing as as the as a better option between the two choices. The strokes, I guess, we could have. The, it, as point as well, okay? Everything else should stay the same. Point peak of size, 72 points to an inch, that's a standard uh, measurement, okay? So we'll use that. And then say, okay, I mean, there are other, other settings that you could set if you wanna, you know, the cursors and how to handle your, um, your, your moving of the guides and all that, they're all right here, but for now, I guess all we really need to do is to change the units to inches so that we could relate a little bit more and we don't have to do math, all right? And then that's it. So now it's changed our ruler units to um, something that's a little bit more recognizable. All right, so we have the first page, second page, third page, which the first page will set the the ruler back to zero, but these guys right here, it's starting to look at it as one composition. So it kind of seems to keep the whole ruler up to that uh, starting from the zero right here. Okay, so there we have the page all set up and you have your navigation as good. So what we need to do after this is to create a master list for the page, or master for the page. Okay, right here we have the palettes just like we have in the other Adobe programs. Uh, we have the page tab, we have the layer tab, we have the link tab. Link tab we're not gonna use right now, but layer and pages we'll have to get going. Okay, so these are our our pages. We have the first page right here that's active. So when these are, when this section right here is blue, highlighted blue, that means that that's the page that you're working on. Okay. So this is your standard layout or the page layouts uh, palette. 